The newest book, Skin Trade, opens with Anita Blake receiving a severed head in the mail. And it has a note in it saying that the killer that sent it to her is in Las Vegas and he's waiting for her. This is a serial killer that we had seen a few books back. He is very determined that Anita come hunt him. And he's hoping that she'll be less dangerous on her own. Oh, he doesn't know our girl. Read Skin Trade by best-selling author Laurel K. Hamilton. I'm Laurel K. Hamilton, creator of the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series and Meredith Gentry, princess, a fairy princess and private detective. I chose to do my biography about Laurel K. Hamilton because I think she's an admirable writer and, a per and an admirable person. So without further ado, Miss Laurel K. Hamilton. <laughs> Laura K. Hamilton was born on February 19, 1963. She is an American fantasy romance writer. Hamilton is best known for her New York best time best-selling Anita Blake series. Uh, what I like, what I think about her writing is that it's very unique. And when one reads it, you can you can tell that it's her writing because it's so unique. Laurel K. Hamilton was born in Hever Springs, Arkansas, but grew up in Sims, Indiana with her grandmother, Laura Gentry. From all the books Laurel K. Hamilton has written, I think my favorite would be Circus of the Dam because um, it's really different and then I don't know, there's my favorite characters in it and I really love that book because it has the most action and and then yeah. And then the Mary Gentry series is about a fairy princess who is running away from her family who is trying to assassinate her. Mm, one of my favorite books about her series is the uh, Killing Dance. It's from the Anita Blake series. And And she's after taking a look at Anita Blake, The Laughing Corpse, number one. Now the idea that this story is based on is solid and makes for an interesting world. Vampirism is legal, and werewolves and all sorts of other supernatural char characters are living amongst us. Now Anita Blake is an animator, which means she can raise the dead. Apparently, she makes a pretty good living at it and helps out the cops as a vampire hunter during her downtime. So far, this story is building a lot of mystery. I mean, it reads like one of those cop shows where we've got a crime scene that is unbelievably gory and a little creepy. You missed October? Yes, I missed two weeks. Two weeks? That could just be stress. Your last serious case was two weeks ago. It can happen to anyone, you know. But that's never happened to me. Then you need a pregnancy test. Sherlock! And who's the father? I don't know who's the father, I'm not sure. But I know it's not Damien, Jean-Claude, or Asher, because they're all vampires. That only leaves me with three more, which is Mika, Nathaniel, and Richard. But it can be Mika because he was fixed, so it's only Nathaniel or Richard. You gonna tell Nathaniel and Mika? No, not until I know if I'm pregnant or not. Well, if it comes out to positive, we can get rid of it, you know? You know I'm Catholic, I don't believe in that. So much for a monogamous life. Um, I love her books because they're exciting. And I sat on the newspaper. And then you're like, oh, that's still... Then you got all excited. Stop. I started reading the book because one, uh, one of my friends uh, let me borrow it. She thought it was, she thought it was cool and uh, she lent it to me. So that's how I started reading it. I started trying to write at 12 and a half and finished my first story by at 14. And what was the name of this story? It had no title. It was a bloodbath. Oh, really? I, I, so I, maximum I, yes. carnage. Even at yes, 12 Matt, and a half, it, you had quite the sick imagination. No, no, no. At 12 and a half, I was trying to write Louisa May Alcott little women stories. And then...